So I was asking myself, in the 21st century, people don't even think about such aspects. This happened in 2000. A lot of respect, not because she did not cry while receiving the Gallantry Award or not because she was, when, uh, she got to know about the death of, in fact, is in a long distance relationship with him. Somehow I'm sitting with a heavy heart here. Recently, many people were moved to tears um, after having watched a Tamil movie that got released. The title is Amaran. I'm not here to again promote any film, but what is the source of this beautiful film? The sacrifice, the fortitude and the struggle of a major whom we lost in 2014. So I was asking myself, why did we take so long to remember him, not only him, but many people who laid their lives for us. So I'm not just talking about the soldiers. There could be a lot of people in your life as well who struggle to keep you happy. Uh, I don't think we need the Republic Day or the Independence Day to remember such uh, martyrs who gave their life voluntarily and uh, when they know that they are not going to live, when they know that life is dangerous for them, they happily struggle for us. So I got to hear a lot of people speaking about this film. And uh, we know that we all are hooked to the social media directly or indirectly, subconsciously and consciously. Uh, we all watch a lot of content on social media. Sometimes we watch reels, content videos. We learn a lot of things from YouTube. Even I do that. But today people are speaking about this. And for those of you who are not acquainted or associated with the southern part of the film industry, um, if you are fluent, if you understand Tamil, I think you can um, go ahead and watch it. Otherwise, it is going to be released in all the languages on OTT. But whatever it is, you can take some effort to find out more about this warrior. Uh, Major Mugand Vardarajan. There could be a lot of soldiers whom we don't even remember. The names of whom we really don't know. So if there is somebody who is struggling to keep you happy and alive apart from the soldiers, of course we remember them with all our heart. Today in the 21st century, people don't even think about such aspects. This happened in 2014 and this film became a part of the entertainment industry because of the love story. So there are a lot of things behind it. He fell in love with a girl from Kerala, Indu Rebecca Varghese. And I was really moved after listening to the real story. And um, I should also admit that I never knew about this person or this family until this film got released. And many of you would have been through this. Of course, we celebrated him. I read something about it in the newspapers when he received the Gallantry Award, the Ashoka Chakra Award. Um, but leaving all that apart, we got reminded of the bravery, the courage with, with which our soldiers fight uh, for us, for the safety of the whole country, not just India, but anywhere. You can read more about it. It's there um, on the internet. You can listen to the YouTube videos. But uh, people talk about the wife of this major with a lot of respect, not because she did not cry while receiving the Gallantry Award or not because she was um, not expressing her tears. It's okay to cry. It's okay to voice her opinion. She has left something for the world. It's not that life moves on. Today people speak about this woman with so much of fortitude that she is the Iron Lady. She says that um, she is in a long distance relationship with her love even now after losing him. So it's not about uh, not expressing her tears while receiving the award or when she got to know about the death of In fact, is in a long distance relationship with him. She learned a lot of things consciously and subconsciously from a man who loved her, look, who looked after her and who above everything loved the country. So that is something uh, that we have to remember. And um, I don't know whether 
anybody is going to watch this video from that side of the family but i think you have left all of us in tears to remember people to remember soldiers and to be forever indebted and to forever respect you sometimes i feel that we have to rely on the entertainment industry or things that reminds us through shorts through youtube videos and through films um, through the web series that life is so precious it's not just about the good manners and the good deeds that we do but when life gives you bitter things when it treats you in a bitter way that also helps you to deal with it so it's not just about being always a warrior and always being in high spirits because today social media also promotes indirectly this toxic positivity where you're not even allowed to show your expression or people, where people put a pressure on you saying that no you shouldn't cry you shouldn't be doing that or you shouldn't be falling down it's okay to fall down i'm i'm sure that people who face such struggles fall down I don't think we require Republic Days and Independence Days to always remember our soldiers. And even I got uh, a couple of chances to speak with um, some of these soldiers when they wanted to enhance their skills through speaking platforms and otherwise. I mean, they're always there to live their life productively. Uh, it's not out of sympathy that I'm speaking this out. I saw a lot of people speaking about out of sympathy, saying that, oh my God, they are sacrificing their life. It's not just that, but it's with huge respect that from the responsibilities, from the corners of their duty, they always wanted to enhance their skills. Even now, there are a lot of people connecting that way. So language becomes effective. Your communication becomes clear when you observe, when you show a little bit of sympathy and when you empathize. And there are a lot of warriors and martyrs who lost their lives even even there are people from your countries and states and from your regions you must be knowing one of them you must be the wife or you must be the parent of such a person or you must be the sister or brother of such a person whatever it is um it's not just about the film people cry people walk out of the theaters crying of course we are moved to emotions when we see people struggling so whatever you're doing in your life this is for people who are not soldiers or people who are not famous, people who are doing little things in life. You are valuable. You are precious. Whatever little things you are doing, there will be somebody to remember you. Your good deeds are immortal. So believe in that. If there's no one to appreciate you, if there is no one to acknowledge you, I think this is a film or this is something, the life itself that we are speaking about, the real life itself is a reminder that good deeds are immortal and it just never leaves you. Uh, though I was not prepared for this video, I just wanted to speak to you. So whenever I want to share something, I just turn on the camera and speak to you because there are a lot of people who want to listen to me, who want to even know about the thoughts. You can also share your thoughts after having listened to the entire video. I think we also have people in our family who left us many years back. We grieve them, we mourn them, we also celebrate the anniversaries. Apart from that, I think it's a time for us to reflect on everyone uh, who is there now with you, uh, struggling to see you smile. Thank you so much and thanks a lot for listening to me.